NX ships with automated code migrations, and that means upgrading your package JSON files, obviously, like your NPM packages, but it also means to upgrade like potential configuration files that come with those specific technologies, upgrading your source code if inputs change. So basically, it helps you bridge potential breaking changes, and it helps you update your code base in a much easier way, and therefore almost trying to make it evergreen. Wait, what? Yeah, these code migrations are actually extremely useful when it comes to keeping your tooling up to date. Because one of the challenges that we have seen teams face a lot is that these maintenance tasks are often delayed because they don't really fit into the normal development cycle where all that matters is shipping features as fast as possible. So let's have a look how these migrations work. So this is a React application I have scaffolded with NX. But if we look in the package JSON, we see a bunch of NX specific packages and they're still on 59, while the next is now way beyond 16. So let's have a look how we can upgrade this workspace. So to run the so-called upgrade mechanism or migration script, we just run nx migrate, and then we give it the version which is latest by default, or we could also have a specific version if you already know, we can just upgrade to that one and not go further for some reason. And so if we launch this, NX will look at your workspace, at the packages that you have installed, and then pull them down into your workspace. What you then end up with is the package JSON that is being updated. And in case there are migrations to run, you will also see such a migration JSON file. So let's have a look at the package JSON first of all. So you can see here that it upgraded to the latest version of the packages. So it just basically changed to that latest version that you can see in here from 59 to 16.5, which is at the recording of this video, the latest one, and even other packages, like here, for instance, it did update here the VTS config paths, VTest, and it might potentially update some more. Right now, no actual NPM installation has been done because in theory, you could now basically have a look at those changes and actually verify whether they make sense and then run the actual NPM install command. So we can just do that now. So as the next step, let's have a look at this migration JSON file. And that has been generated at the very root of our workspace here. And it's nothing else than a JSON file with these sections in there. So migrations are basically a function here defined in this implementation of this specific package. Now, what are these packages? Because here we see like package NX, and then further down, if you go scroll a bit, we see now all JavaScript, now all linter, now all Vite. Now these are so-called NX plugins, which is nothing else than an NPM package with some specific files in there such that NX recognize them as a plugin. So let's go on a quick tangent and look at actual NX overview where you can see high, kind of like the high level architecture where we have NX at the bottom, which is basically the single NX package that we also see here in our package JSON. And you can use that package, like to say on your monorepo, like PMPM workspace or NPM workspace to speed up things because this package has all the facilities such as task running, like in per sense of prioritization with task dependencies. It has caching in built in, and it also has those automated, automated migration built in. And this is exactly how we actually triggered this command because we ran nx migrate, which is running the migrate command on top of the nx package that we have installed. On top of this, you can optionally also use plugins. So plugins are usually very technology specific. Let's say you already know you're going to build a Next.js app or React app or you're gonna have Cypress or Storybook, well, usually you can find some NX plugins either developed by the NX team itself or by the community. And those plugins give some better DX around that technology. So they come potentially with generators to scaffold code. They come with so-called executors, which is nothing else than kind of wrapping up some scripts for running and serving your dev server for building that project without you having to configure your Webpack or let's say vidconfig yourself. And the one thing that we're interested here in, they also come with that plugin specific migration script. So the React plugin would know which migration scripts to ship because if you upgrade from one React version to the next, you might have to not just change the package version, but you might also want to change imports or configuration files. And in fact, if you go back to our migrations file, these are nothing else than scripts triggered on these specific packages. For instance, here we have the now React package and we have a so-called migration that is called remove types react router DOM. Now, if I jump directly to the NX workspace and I go to react 
I will see there is a migrations JSON file, which for each version define scripts that need to be run in order to upgrade to that latest version. And similarly, we have here this script that we just saw, which has then an implementation file here in this update 16.3. So if you go in here in the source, migrations, update 16.3, we'll see here a file that is being run directly. So in this case, it's called remove package. This will be invoked by the migration script from an X and it will trigger a function that removes some dependencies in this case from the package JSON. So it basically reads the package JSON that it's interested in, could potentially also read the source files, apply AST transformations, and then adjust your package JSON script, config files, or actual TypeScript code. So how do we run these? Well, we can just actually go ahead and run the command that is called NX migrate run migrations. And that will then go through these migrations and apply them to your workspace. So let's do this. So once the script has successfully passed, let's have a look at the actual git changes. Now, a particular change in this 59 to 16.0 transition is that we rebranded our packages from at null to at NX slash. And so we kind of changed the NPM scope and what we did here in particular is, for instance, upgrade your package JSON to the new packages. And in fact, if I scroll up here, you will see that our package JSON has not just now the latest version, but it also has a different reference to a different package. Where in this case, it's at an X and before it was at now if we open up here the diff. And based on that, obviously, all the packages here had to also adjust our configuration. So here is, for instance, the project JSON file where we change the name of the package to now add an X and reference the same executor here to run the builds and so on. We also change here various like TS config files. Here's a Cypress config file, which did an import to a specific Cypress plugin. So obviously that now also needs to be adjusted. And so you can see that across the code base from config files, package JSON files, those get adjusted by these migration scripts. So once you're good with those changes, push it up on CI. Ideally, you have a good set of automated tests, both on unit and integration level to give you some confidence of whether things work uh, properly. And then you just commit it and merge it to your main code base. And with that, you're updated to the latest version of NX. So I hope this was helpful. Let us know in the comments what you think about this. And I see you in the next one.